What's up guys, this is Ryan from Tower Reviews and today we're going to be showing you how to get iOS 7 on any Apple device, iPad mini, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Um, as you can see here, we already have it on the iPod Touch 5th generation. Uh, and today we're going to be showing you um, how to put it on the iPad mini. Uh, that is the device we're going to be using, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that on the computer. Okay, so now that we're on the computer here, what you're going to want to first do is go over to Google and search BitTorrent. Alright, so click on the first one. It's their website. And just get it for Mac. I already have it, as you can see, down in the corner. Uh, so we're done with that. Um, once you're done downloading that, you can come back to the tutorial. Alright, so what you're going to want to do next is go to this site, which I'll leave a link in the description. And as you can see here, there's a list of all the devices that you can download it on. Um, so we've got iPhone 5, uh, GSM, uh, Rest of World GSM, so you're going to need to pick the one that applies best to you. For this one, we're going to be doing the iPad Mini. So here it is, iPad Mini Beta 2. Um, and this one would be the one with the uh, 4G uh radios inside so we're going to do this one because we have the wi-fi version and you're going to want to go over and click torrent and as you can see the download started once that's done we're going to click on it and it's going to go right into uh our bittorrent app so let's go ahead and click ok and go over to bittorrent so if we go up to downloading you can see that it has started. I'm going to change my bandwidth allocation so it goes faster. And your time should, or your estimated time of arrival should go down uh, pretty quickly. Right now, mine's at 28 weeks, so let's hope that it doesn't take that long. Okay, so once that is done downloading, what you're going to want to do is go to Downloads. and search for whatever um, uh, keywords would apply to you, so mine would be iPad Mini. And as you can see right here we've got the iPad Mini Wi-Fi iOS Beta 2 and you've got the restore here so now you know where that is. What we're gonna do is go into iTunes um, and plug in your device Alright, so I just plugged in the iPad Mini. There it is. I'm not going to register it now because that doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so this is the uh, the critical point right here. What you're going to want to do is click check for update, but while you're doing that, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac, if you're on Windows you want to hold shift while you do it, if you're on Mac you want to hold the option key. So you hold option and you click check for update, and that's going to launch you into Finder where you can find the uh, correct thing and it took me right to uh, the iPod Touch version which I did previously but we're gonna click the iPad mini version click the restore click open and it's gonna say it's gonna verify it with Apple and now it's extracting the software alright so you're gonna get this on the iPad as you can see right there and it's pretty much just going through the update process as it would normally, and that apple is huge. How is it? <laughs> what? So it's loading on the new operating system, and everything's going pretty smoothly. At this point, you're pretty much home free, so I'm going to come back once the iPad is booted up. Alright, so we're back. The iPad has turned white on black, which is a good sign, and as you can see here in iTunes, it's set up like a new iPad, so we're going to set that up in a little bit, and we get the hello, so we're good to go to set it up. Configure, swipe, update complete. Welcome to iPad. Okay. And we're in iOS 7 on the iPad. 
Not now. So we got all the features here. Notification center down the bottom. Control or center. control center. Notification center at the top. Search. And we are done. So that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helped.